All right, this is a 2016 Stingray. It's an LT1, I couldn't afford anything more. But I did up do, uh, fix up the wheels a little bit. So those are custom offsets, front and rear. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the, the blower. So this is obviously an Edelbrock E-Force. It's stage two blower. I have it set at stage one though, so it's like a five inch pulley. And I'm only making, I think on the dyno it was about 490 at the rear wheels. So it's over 600 at the crankshaft. Anyway, that's the way the blower sits on there. It looks pretty good. I like it just because uh, I, I prefer this style of blower. And for street driving, I don't take it to the track. I did take it to the track one time. I have a video about that. It did great, but for the street, it just seems to be very streetable. It works very well. We walk around over here. On that side. I'll give you a look at things. So I could drop a little smaller diameter pulley, um, get more PSI, I think it looks like five is all I'm getting out of this. I could go to seven and get more horsepower, more torque. Torque is about uh, 490, it matches the horsepower on the dyno curve. I did do a little cutout in the hood there because although they say that it fits under the hood and it does, it's still still rubs on the hood liner so you may not be able to tell or maybe you can there is a difference in color between here and here I had to repaint this section because it was uh, all rubbed and scuffed here and it was scuffed back here so doing the cutout allowed for plenty of room there's no more scuffing I do notice with this kit there's a little 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 rubbing right here which corresponds to that spot right there. Yeah, I had to cut cut a little bit of uh, that out right there so it wouldn't rub as much anymore. I suppose this bracket could be bent down a little, but then that might impact the, the throw of this vacuum. So yeah, I just did a little trim. And then I did the silver wrap on the wires here just it's all preference, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? And anyway, this is what I did to my car. So let's go take a drive. All right, we're inside the car, let's start it up. Because California had a really serious problem. so much is that I can have it in drive. It's uh, eight-speed automatic. And just use the paddle shifters and override whatever settings I'm in in drive. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, about the blower, let's see. We can see what it sounds like. Of course, sound is a matter of exhaust. Custom tune has a huge impact on drivability. I went to a guy in orange called Tuned by Tad. He changed shift points, changed the uh, just a lot of the way the engine runs. Of course, it's probably voids of warranty and all that, but whatever. If you're worried about warranties, don't do anything to your car, I guess. Let's put up the window. Drive into the sun. It's 
very drivable. It's my daily driver. I've got 16,000 miles on the car now. When you want passing power, uh, if you're in eighth gear on the freeway, cruising about 70, and step on it, it just downshifts and goes. Again, all of that is dependent upon the tune that you put in your car. If you put a blower on your car, you've got to retune it. So the guys that did mine use HP Tuner software, created a custom tune. All kinds of parameters are adjustable with the custom tune. Drivability is critical. aspirated engine won't do that it won't sound like that putting the blower on the car with the NPP exhaust uh, gave it a completely different exhaust note I find it to be plenty loud even when you're in touring mode when you step on it the baffles open and you still get that exhaust note it's just incredible incredible to me Again, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. These are all just notes for you to think about if you uh, decide you want to put an Elbrock on yours. I know Magnuson is an option. There's Pro Chargers. There's, there's all kinds of stuff out there. And just my thoughts on my car. So we'll find a place to do a U-turn. Go back the other way. We're not driving into the sun. It's, it's uh, in a word, amazing. Now you've got so much power that it's difficult to keep the tires from spinning. First gear, second gear, third gear, even fourth. I feel the nannies kick in and stabilize the rear end just a bit. off it's going to uh, flip around on you probably if you're not careful and you'll be off the road. We've all seen the videos of that happening. So I just drive it with the nannies on and just go for it. The other thing I find interesting driving this car is I get a bunch of little cars who try to run up on you and remind me of gnats. Let them go by, who cares? So again, with this uh, stage one Edelbrock, super drivable. I'm getting about 22 miles per gallon. I can get 28 if I drive 60 on flat ground. But realistically, Doing these demos, driving like this, traffic and all, you're going to get about 14 is what I really get. Now here's what's fun. If I come up to this stop sign and then I put it in first gear and just kind of punch it and let off, it gives a nice shriek. I'll do that for you here in just a second as soon as I come up to the stop sign. Shift. All right, first gear, and we'll leave it locked in first. So here 
I'm going, just a nice slow pace, and if I just step on it, talk when I'm accelerating because my lips are being pressed back into my spine <laughs> well it's not really that bad but it's a fun car it's a fun car when it's stock but man putting a blower on it just really changed the whole dynamic of this vehicle Let's back in. Now the tune that's here, the guy also adjusted the amount of time that the cooling fan runs. And it's uh, quite different from the stock motor stock motor you turn off the engine and the fan tends to shut off with this one he has the fan running I guess until the engine temperature drops down of course it's running hotter with the blower that's typical but you'll see when I get out I'm gonna pop the hood the guys are here doing the lawn so there's gonna be some noise but let's get out and I'll turn the engine off and we'll go look at the yeah, we'll leave it running Let's jump out and have a look at the engine running. keeps on running. It'll run for a little while. It's blowing some nice air. I can feel it here. Things, trying to cool things down. And with this custom tune, I tend to run right around 205 degrees on my engine temperature. pretty decent. Anyway, that's it. That's the blower review, sort of, kind of. Hope you enjoyed it.